People may feel that play is something juvenile, that it's very, it's a very simple comp, you know, concept, um, that it has no place in higher education, that, that, you know, for work to be proper and serious and legitimate, it has to be challenging, make you miserable and sometimes be dull. People who have actually invited me to do playful workshops in their institutions say to me, but Alison, how do you square away the fact that I'm an educator and my job is to educate my students, not to entertain them. And I can't understand why you can't do both. Somewhere along the line, this notion of edutainment has has been made into a dirty word. A really great learning, doesn't matter how difficult it is, is fascinating and awe-inspiring and makes you curious and makes you laugh and makes you want more. You know, like, like the best kind of experience that we have in any aspect of our lives you know if you're an engineer there are great examples of play in postgraduate learning if you're an artist if you're a writer if you're a scientist psychologist you know there is no place play can't reside but we have to understand that we will value different things depending on our um on our disciplinary context. The animal behaviourist will talk about play in one language. The anthropologist will talk about it in another. So talking the right kind of language so we understand each other is another way. I think start small, experiment, find your champions. The moment that students say they like it, you can bet your bottom dollar there will be a shift. I'm talking about students who say, you know, I was trying to grasp a complex concept like gravity or ergonomics or semiotics or whatever and my teacher did x with me and it went from being a crazy world of confusion to something that I got because it's those key concepts that enable us to progress in learning. During the pandemic right at the very beginning of the pandemic in March 2020 Many, many universities that that weren't particularly well set up in digital or online education had a few weeks of unholy panic where it was all about how can we get material to students? How can we upload content? And it was all shove, 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 information, information. But actually what students and staff most needed in those times was, yes, they needed to know that they could still access the material on X, but actually that was only one bit of it. They wanted to still feel supported, connected to each other, heard, able to express their anxieties, knowing who to turn to, given that they couldn't pop down a corridor. And I think the thing that we've really learned is that playful learning enables connection. It enables those kinds of um, social and interpersonal relationships, which also enable learning. And if you haven't got those then it, you know you you won't necessarily navigate the content in the richest way possible. Mm-hmm.